So Alric, as you look back on another really strong set of results for the first quarter, what do you see as the main operational highlights? I must say this is incredible to see how everybody has been stepping up to making SKF less volatile. And I think, you know, we've been working on that for a long time and, and this is one of those quarters where we have shown this. Yes, we've had help because we have known that there's a, a difficult situation. We've been uh, putting a lot of effort into getting our savings, getting our cash flow, focusing on the customers at the same time as we reduce our costs. And we've done it. So congratulations to everybody. Thank you. And I hope this goes to show, you know, what SKF, the potential we have now of doing the same when the crisis is over. And Niklas, if we start to dig into the financial details, what do you highlight as, as the most important developments? Well, a couple of things in, in Q1. Uh, one is uh, maintaining margins, so a bit like, uh, like Ulrich said. I think we did a, a fantastic job actually in Q1, uh, maintaining margins in a tough environment. Uh, we had a, an organic sales decline of uh, approximately 8%, or a bit more than 8%, and we, we kept our margins uh, stable year on year which is a, a really, really good achievement. And it's very much also a continuation of what we did already in second half of 2019. And uh, secondly, we had a very good cash flow. And of course, in these tough times, it uh, helps very much and it further solidified our financial uh, position, which is great going into a, a severe downturn. And can you give us any more flavor on the compensation of cost inflation? Uh, which continues to be quite strong, or very strong. Yeah, yeah, and again, it's it's very much a continuation of what we uh, did already back in in 2019. So it's not like it's a, it's a one-off, but uh, we did indeed co more than compensate uh, for the cost inflation. Uh, so essentially, took out more costs uh, than what we had inflation, which we are quite quite pleased with. So, Alric, if if we look ahead and and the significant uncertainty that the world is facing right now, what can you say about SKF's position and focus areas? Safety is, of course, always on top of our agenda. And I think we've been working very hard to, for a zero accident environment, and, and it in, involves everything. And I would argue we are a safe company. Then, secondly, you know, we have to uh, now understand that we need to focus on the customer. And it's to understand the customer and the customer's needs and which are the segments that will emerge strong and see to it that we are the obvious partner to them. And that we understand that now is the time also to prepare for a new reality and, and, and really work hard on executing on our cost programs and focus on cash. And Nicholas, maybe you'd like to just provide a sort of financial aspect of that strength in that position. Yeah, I mean, we, uh, we actually have a record high financial liquidity and we have a healthy balance sheet. We have a financial liquidity uh, available of uh, around 16 billion uh, Swedish kronos, which is, of course, something which uh, we are quite pleased with uh, going into this downturn. And from the investments point of view, we have quite a, a large amount of investments planned, especially within our factories for the year, and presumably there will be some impact on that, but maybe you could just share a little bit how, how the thinking and the reasoning is. Yeah, the, the, the thinking we have um, is, is very much to emerge as an even stronger company. And uh, we, started, uh, we started with actions already earlier, so it's not like, uh, like we do things uh, just because of this situation, but it's, uh, it's, uh, there's a longer term theme uh, behind this. And uh, we have uh, invested uh, a lot and we continue to invest a lot actually, for instance, in our manufacturing, but also R&D. And uh, uh, obviously in this situation, we will be selective. So some investments we will actually stop or postpone, uh, while then uh, other investments we will very much proceed with and uh, probably even accelerate. Great. Alric, Niklas, thank you very much for taking the time.